ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 30th day of January. Everybody's still buzzing about Monday. Will it rain? Will it snow? Again, there's better clarity, but there's still some questions involving the details, but we'll talk our way through it. And hey, we hope to see you on the tour. This is the month for the Storm Alert Tour, Storm Alert 2009. Had a wonderful crowd last night at Greene County High School in Utah. Uh, next week, we're coming to Trustville at the Civic Center. Uh, the following week, January. Jasper, the 19th, Oxford, and there will be one more on the 26th, and we'll announce the location uh, probably sometime next week. Pretty quiet out there today. There's our Clanton Sky Cam down in Chilton County, a sunny sky, pretty chilly. We do note some mid-level clouds coming up in the North Alabama. There's the Cullman Sky Cam, uh, the sky really becoming mostly cloudy there, but Tuscaloosa... Mostly sunny over in West Alabama. That's the view from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. A very strong trough over the east. That's the reason for the chilly weather today. And again, a few uh, clouds rotating into uh, North Alabama, but uh, will be dry tonight and dry over the weekend. Temperatures are cold over the east. The freeze line down in Kentucky and Missouri around St. Louis. Around here, readings mostly in the 40s. Birmingham 47 at 2 o'clock. Cullman 43 at 2 o'clock. They're the cool spot. Well, here's the uh, INSEP guys' uh, depiction of the precipitation with our big uh, Groundhog Day storm. And uh, you can see the uh, heaviest axis of precipitation really on the Gulf and the Atlantic coast. But the, the interior sections, uh, it could be a whopper of a snowstorm. But still at this point, really, there are more questions than answers. Let's look at modeling. Uh, this is the NAM valid at noon tomorrow. Uh, and, of course, the big trough is off to the east. We have a northwest flow. It's going to be a sunny day. Cold morning, pretty decent afternoon. We should be in the uh, 50s Sunday. Thickness values are supporting low to mid-60s here. We're talking highs between 60 and 65. And everybody's going to say, a chance of snow? Are you kidding me? But, hey, how many times have we seen that quick turnaround? You go from a mild day to a cold, wet, snowy day. It happens. There's Monday. This is the GFS. We're going back to the 12Z run. And there's your big upper trough supporting our storm. The 12Z GFS really uh, doesn't uh, fit in with previous runs. It is somewhat of an outlier. This is at noon Monday. It's got the uh, low-level thickness. This is the 1,000 to 5, or oh, I'm sorry, 1,000 to 850 millibar thickness. That uh, 1320 dash line below Birmingham, suggesting it might be cold enough for snow at midday, but the deeper moisture way down south. I mean, we're talking way down there in the, uh, in the Gulf, well below Panama City, with only just a trace or a dusting here, which is contrary to previous runs. Then at 6 o'clock, uh, the deeper moisture pulls off to the northeast, the cold air drops south, and the precipitation winds down. So if you look at that run, you think, well, it may be a few snowflakes, nothing more than that, after some scattered rain early in the day. But the NAM, on the other hand, this is the uh, 12Z NAM, shows uh, the surface low uh, really uh, kind of in the process of transforming from the Gulf over to the Atlantic. The five four, I'm sorry, this is the freeze line at 850, or about 5,000 feet off the ground. The blue line, an approximate idea of the rain-snow line at 6 o'clock. It's uh, very close to Birmingham, and a pretty batch of heavy precipitation just north of that, and that would be an axis of heavier snow, if that's right. Well, who's right, who's wrong? Let's look at the Canadian, another global model. It does a pretty good job. The uh, uh, gym, and you can see that it's got a surface low down there below Tallahassee. At Monday with the 540 line, the critical thickness line near Birmingham. But really, the, the better moisture with this is just below the 540 line. And the European, another global model, very similar to the Canadian. The surface low in almost the same spot, pretty close to Tallahassee, Apalachicola. So, again, we're getting some mixed signals, but uh, it looks like it will start as a cold rain, changing to snow. There could be some accumulation. We don't see any evidence of a really heavy band except off that NAM. And for the moment, we're not going to jump on that because there's just not enough evidence elsewhere. But rain in the morning, changing to snow Monday afternoon, maybe some light accumulation in spots, and let's watch it over the weekend. We're not going to jump on any big snowstorm yet. We just don't see the evidence there. And then Tuesday, the thing bombs out up there around Cape Cod, and that is going to be a whopper. I mean a whopper of a snowstorm for the Appalachians, uh, really from uh, maybe the mountains of North Georgia up into the mountains of Carolina, West Virginia, 
and points north. Uh, Pittsburgh could be really slammed with this thing. And around here, cold air advection is the story, and you can see that uh, uh, we've got a very cold day. Now, this run, not as cold as previous days, but still cold. Uh, it looks like we'll struggle to hit the mid-30s on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, uh, still cold. I mean, come on now. It's, uh, we're not going to warm up a couple of days after that. And finally, Thursday, things get back to normal with highs back in the 50s. And a quick peek at the uh, end of the forecast period. This is the 15th of February. Warm ridge over Florida, big trough out west, and that's suggesting very mild and unsettled weather here. But again, we have seen so many looks, we're just not even going to go there at that point. We are just peaking. So that's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog often over the weekend as things progress. And uh, Brian Peters is on the road. Uh, he's going to try and crank out a Weather Extreme video tomorrow and Sunday. If not, he'll have some forecast notes. And my next scheduled video will be up here by Monday morning at 7. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch Watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend, and God bless.